And on the beat, honestly, yeah, I'm trying to be. Yeah, I got to be who I want to be. Trying to be. Yeah, I got to see who I'm trying to be. Yeah, I want to be. What's going on, guys? It's your man C to the J to the C. Y'all already know how I be. Straight from the 305 Miami all day, all day. Welcome back to Storytime. My bad, guys. I didn't even upload anything yesterday. But you know the busy days work. I promise y'all that grind on keep going. And kind of be sad sometimes when the views like kind of low, but you guys still keep going. You can't give up. And for those who keep on supporting, they need content. So I got y'all today. You see the sunglasses different today. You know, I got them on deck. I got the white, the black, the blue, the yellow, the everything. Sunglasses on deck. If the glass is on, then they can't have a case. If they don't have a case, no face, no case. The sun stays shining, the light gleaming, you beaming, and you a star. And that's how I stay a superstar. Cause I'm that nigga. No C to the J to the C. And today's story time, story time. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and and, and hit the bell. Like like, subscribe, comment, guys. Cause I do this guy for you guys. Like y'all the fans. Like you the people. We the people, like you know how they used to do it back in the year and shit like that. But yeah, like I appreciate y'all. Just know that that's a fact. Today's story time, we're gonna talk about eighth grade year, Dr. Lewis class. Oh my goodness. When I tell you I teachers and professors, that's characters in my life. I I bet we all do, but I don't know if y'all could compare. We're going back like like y'all know, middle school year, Miami Edison Middle School. Y'all already know shout out to Edison, yo, salute. But yeah, like um eighth grade year, Dr. Lewis class. <laughs> and what a class that was. Oh my goodness, that was funny. Like basically, um all right, so when I first got to Dr. Lewis class, we all heard the stories like, okay, Dr. Lewis, he's like, he don't play that. He's a funny guy. And then we used to assume, like, no offense to anybody out there, like, like if you gay, you gay. It's all support, all love. Love always. I'm saying like we the, the way he talked, we, people used to just assume he is gay. Like, oh, he's gay. And so I was like, okay. Like, they might, like that's why you could never assume. But we just say, like, oh, he's talking like that, so he's gay. Like, I guess we like this. Yeah, and I will not, like, the way he talked, like, I can't do the voice. But it was like, maybe he's gay. But remember, we were, like, 13, 12 years old. We just thought, like, what the world taught us. And we were still amateurs and still growing. But, yeah, like, um, we are a tough teacher. He don't play that funny and i said how can you be funny tough and don't play that at the same time like that ain't make sense but it's like people say you gotta wait till you get to that class and you'll see it so a grade year came and you got two teachers that they, they could either put you in or either i think miss peace who i had for six and seven grade year or you had um um dr lewis and fortunately for me i end up with dr lewis and his class you learn right away like my name he used to like use it in a conference. Like every time he said my name, he'll sing a song. Caroline, Caroline, he's my friend. You know, like like the Caroline song. I don't know what it is. It's CJ, but I'm saying like he used to sing that song every time he say my name. Like he'll go to attendance. Hey Travis, then CJ, Caroline, Caroline. He might like he always used to say it. And then <laughs> one thing he used to do outside of his class was like. You had to shake his hand before you enter the class. <laughs> and like we all just think he said, okay, shake his hand, something like that. And then I had comedians in my class. There was Jaquan, fat Jaquan, fat Jaquan, shout out to Jaquan. There was Jaquan, there was Travis, and then there was like Rodney. And then <laughs> I, I shook his hand, and I shook his Dr. Lewis hand. And that's the way you get only way you get in this class. Different rules, different segments for every class. So you have to shake his hand. Rodney was like, <laughs> Jaquan was like, Dr. Lewis had his hand like out like this. Jaquan just walked by him and got inside his class. He said, Jaquan, Jaquan. <laughs> and then Jaquan said, what? He said, you are playing. That was his favorite word. He said, you are playing. He said, he said, he said, Jaquan, he said, I ain't doing nothing. And he said, sir, shake my hand. And he's like, he said, man. <laughs> I forgot who it was, Jaquan or Travis. They were like, oh, I don't know where your hand been. I'm not going to shake that shit. I was like, I was dead. I was like, what? Like, you couldn't not force yourself to try not to laugh. And he was like, yo, I'm not going to shake that shit. I don't know where that shit from. He said, Jaquan, you are playing. He said, if you do not shake my hand, you will not enter my class, and you will have vocabulary enhancement. 
Vocabulary Hansel is basically Dr. Lewis' punishment way. He basically write, made you write words from the dictionary and the definition, and you learn new words, enhancing your vocabulary, but also being punished because you got to write the dictionary. So shit was crazy. But he was like, Jaquan, you're playing. And Jaquan said, man, I don't got time for that. And Jaquan sat. Then he just ignored Jaquan and said, I'll get to him. And Travis just walked in. He said, Travis. <laughs> He said, you guys are playing. You guys are real. You are playing. He said, Travis, come back and shake my hand. And Travis said, man, no, I ain't going to shake none. And then basically he's like, Travis? He said, security? security. He said, I don't, I, I, you, you will always lose and I will always win. <laughs> he said, thank you. I like, it's his way. Like, you will always lose. He will always win. Vocabulary enhancement. You are playing. Like, like basically like it was just like dr lewis so basically it was like jaquan yeah so they called security and jaquan said man man and they, they took you know, they, they red red was a cool security guard so i doubt he sent your car to office low-key they don't gotta know that red was always on our side not there but sometimes he was if red got really mad so red took um jaquan and then he took um, uh, um Travis with them. He said, they're playing. And then uh, <laughs> you're like, okay. And then Dr. Lewis went straight to his class trying to teach it. And he was like, yeah, like basically like he was a great teacher. Really, for, He actually made us write a poem throughout the whole semester. He made us start with the poem. We had drafts for the poem that we um, that we basically turned into him. He'd always like, he heavily critiqued it, but he always wanted you to be a great poet and understand what a poem was the beginning of a poem, the ending, the basically the, the structure of a poem. And basically you had to be good with it to really understand how to do a poem. If some people think it's just rhyming, being your feelings of like poem, it's really like a message of flow of basically um, art. And basically like in his class, yeah, he was a great teacher. Like that, but vocabulary enhancement was high, like vocabulary enhancement. You are playing. You will always lose and I will always win. <laughs> like like it was just like okay so the next day in his class he he was shaking everybody's hand and then <laughs> jaquan dumbass jaquan just passed by him again he did the same shade that yesterday and he said jaquan and he said what like he said he said i don't have time for this he said you will lose and i will win vocabulary enhancement and he said for what i ain't do nothing and he said jaquan you are playing he said, I will not play with you. He said, you will lose, and I will win. And then basically, Jaquan said, man, I don't even know what you're talking about. He said, I just got in your class. Like, it, it's class time, right? I just, I'm entering your class. I'm not going nowhere. And he said, you know what you did. Shake my hand, Jaquan. And Jaquan said, man. And he said, he said, he said, he said, I don't know where your hand bit. He did the same shit he did yesterday. <laughs> he didn't learn nothing. Then Rodney, Rodney came away. He said, man, I'm not playing with you, bro. He said, I don't have to shake shit. Like, why? He said, that's gay. Like, why I got to shake your hand and enter your class? <laughs> why I got to shake your hand and enter your class? And Dr. Lewis said, he said, gentlemen, I don't have time for this. You will lose and I will win. Vocabulary enhancement. He said, I won't do shit. Vocabulary enhancement. He said, if you don't do vocabulary enhancement, I'll give you an F back to back. He said, and then you'll have to do extra vocabulary enhancement and you'll just keep on getting F's and you'll fill my class. He said, I will always win and you will always lose vocabulary enhancement. Yes. <laughs> like, like, bruh, bruh, not the lose. <laughs> like, bruh, like, Jaquan. <laughs> Jaquan say, I don't know where your hand been. And then Rodney say, man, like, I need to put, um, Hand sanitizer after that shit. He said, I don't know what you do with your hand at home. Like, bro, they was talking shit. Like, bro, we was crazy kids back in middle school. Oh, my goodness. It's just more to tell, man. It's just more to tell. But I went and keep it short and sweet. Like, y'all know what to do. It's your man, C to J to C. Like, subscribe, comment. And, yeah, look for more content. Y'all know it's me. Be breezy. Yeah.